Hey everybody out there, welcome back, welcome back. Come in, come in, grab a friend. <laughs> I'm your host, Q Renee. Welcome to the Stylish Channel community. If this is your first time, welcome. Hey, we love and we're excited to have you here. Um, be sure that if you haven't, take a moment right now to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and share this video with anybody who you would like to see become successful throughout the year, throughout their life, just in general. We love having you here and we thank you so much for all of your support. This week we're gonna be talking about the five gems for starting a successful business. Um, now these are gonna be five gems um, and, and composed of the mentality that you need to have when starting and the physical things that you need to be paying attention to when starting your business, okay? So we're gonna combine the two and we're gonna give you some good tips. So let's get started. So the first thing that's on this list is the fact of not letting money be your end goal. That is the dumbest thing that you can do. It's based an entire business off the fact that you want to make money. This is not a get quick rich scheme. This is a business. This is a lifestyle. This is something that's going to help create generational wealth. You want the reason why you started this business to come from pure intentions. The second thing that we're going to touch on is stop waiting for the perfect plan to get started. I have so many people who always be like, oh, I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Well, put it like this. If you have a little nugget or a little piece of the concept or of the vision, start with that. Because honestly, if you start with that little piece of the vision that you have, it's gonna eventually lead to more pieces of the vision being revealed to you and how to get to those pieces. You'll start getting feedback from people. You'll start being able to add to it, add to it, and add to it. But if you never get started because you're waiting for the entire plan to come to you of what you need to do from 8 a.m. to midnight and, and you just couldn't figure out what you were supposed to be doing at 5 p.m. so you just didn't start, stop it. Start with what you have and get it done. Do not wait. Get started. Matter of fact, get up right now and get started. Okay, so the third thing that we're going to touch on is getting a team in place. Stop trying to do this by yourself. You cannot build an empire by yourself. Who's gonna man the front door for you? You can't run the front door and the back of the house. You can't take tickets and be the host of the event. Like, no, you need to get a team. Now, does this mean that you need to pay people? No, there's so many people who wanna learn and who wanna, who wanna do exactly what you're doing. There's a thing called interns. These are college students. These are people who, and not even in college, sometimes out of college, these are people who are eager, eager, sorry, eager to learn what you're doing. Go and build a team of those people who can support your vision, who want to follow what you're doing, and who want to learn from what you're doing. But you cannot do this alone. So the next thing that we're talking about is keeping tabs on the industry that you're involved in, the growth, the decline, what's happening, is it shifting, is it changing? Are you in the fashion industry? Is it a new season? Should it, you be, should the color scheme of your, of your Instagram page shift because now it's like spring and it's not fall? Should you start using different colors? What type of things are appealing to the industry? Are there certain fabrics that people are paying more attention to? Is it, is it a velvet season? Is it a silk season? You have to pay attention to the market and what's happening in your industry so that you can adapt and you can survive. Adapt and survive. Adapt and survive. That's all you need to do. Adapt and survive. Pay attention. Adapt and survive. The last thing that we're going to touch on is the belief that you have in yourself. Do not put a limit on the belief that you have in yourself because the minute that you stop believing in yourself, done, like you're done, I promise. The, the, the mind is so powerful. If you believe it, you can achieve it. That is said for a reason. No cappy. Well, everybody, those are the gems of the week this week. I hope that you guys took something from that and you're able to apply it to your life. Remember, we have tons of videos. If you need any more source of inspiration, please be sure to click on one of these videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share this video with anybody who you want to be successful, anyone who you think needs this information. Leave us a comment about something that you've been struggling with um, with starting your business so that we can kind of create a video for you um, about something that you've been struggling with. I'm Kira Renee and remember you can do anything that you want in life because Kira said so and because you're like a rock star you can do anything. <laughs> Bye we'll see you next time.